Hello Playmates, Tufty Indigo here, coming to you again with the hottest tips for Spy Party. Today I bring you a couple of games from this year's Summer Cup, both showing examples of the same play. The one we're watching now has Arturiax trying to snipe Yeesh, who's playing as Orange Sari. It's a great match on the whole, and right after this video you should go watch it. I've put the link in the description below. Yish is about to banana bread here, but watch what happens right after that. Banana bread. Now look at what's going on here. Uh, Orange Sorry is not on a pad at all, but if we switch to the sniper view, she's uh, barely visible at all. You can just see her hand sticking out behind the pillar there, but apart from that, completely invisible. It's a perfect hiding place. So we've seen you can uh, you can do a banana split into this hiding place to try and uh, avoid any suspicion from that. Um, it's also uh, a great place to bug the ambassador if you see the ambassador wandering around there. Um, if he wants to get to the other half of the map, he has to go in between that conversation circle and where we're standing. Uh, so it's a great place to uh, to do a bug there. It's better than uh, standing in the conversation circle and hoping the ambassador will go close enough to you. If he wants to go over the other side of the map at all, he's got to come within bugging range of us. So it's, uh, it's a great place to do bug and completely hidden there by the pillar. So we're just going to keep hanging out here for a while longer. And you see, after we've twitched around a bit to uh, to line up better, we're, we're not visible at all in the sniper's view. So if you see here, we've uh, summoned Toby over and done a Poloin there while we were behind the pillar. So of course, Toby would have been visible because uh, he's not behind the pillar, but it was a green ploying, so uh, we didn't take the drink, and somebody else took it. And it's, you know, we weren't even seen rejecting, so it's a minimal suspicion way to do that ploying there. So yeah, so that's that's three missions you can do, and you can see uh, Yeast is going to go on to win here, uh, no suspicion at all. Just a late statue visit there to finish. Um, so yeah, we've seen uh, you can do. Uh, banana splits into hiding behind the pillar. You can go for a bug. It, we didn't see it in this case because the ambassador didn't want to cross the map that way, but it is a really good place to see it. Uh, and you can do a ploy. Here's another example from the same round of the Summer Cup. This time with Alexa trying to snipe Dowsy, who is playing as Alice. Again, I've uh, put the link to this match in the description below. So check that out when you finished. Now here, Dazzy goes for the pillar spot there, but waves off. I think not confident about his positioning there, thinking he's visible um, from the sniper view. Doesn't want to be caught out there. But the ambassador steps into that conversation, so we, we can't resist that. We go straight back there, and you'll see in a moment, the, there's the bug. Uh, doesn't connect that time, but the ambassador comes all the way around the conversation. So there we have a second chance and on the second go, it, uh, it really does connect. Um, when the ambassador's walking past the conversation there, he's really so close to you that he can't be being bugged. And then, uh, yeah, right away we BB and walk off. If we rerun the action now, and switch to the sniper view, uh, interactive sniper view, sorry, so we can see it. Uh, let's watch. So we could see Dowsy was right to be suspicious that first time he was, his hand was sticking out there from behind the pillar. And then when he goes back in, in a few seconds, the, only the, uh, only the pony, ponytail is uh, a little bit visible there. And even then, you've got to be looking for it. And of course, we can't see Alice's arms at all. So both of those bug attempts are completely invisible. So between these two matches, we've seen 
Banana bread. We've seen banana splits. We've seen the Poloin on the previous game. And we've seen Berg here. All done behind this pillar. The only thing we've not seen it for that you can do is microfilm transfer. You can't do the action test microfilm transfer while you're standing in the conversation circle behind the pillar. Um, or this one over here. I'm oh, sorry, or this one on the other side. Um, because you have to be in a conversation on your own to do the action test transfer to read the book at all. Um, but while you're not on a pad, you can read the book out, read the book and do the microfilm transfer. So if you're standing in the uh, the hiding spot there, uh, you can do the microphone transfer. And of course, because you're not visible, it doesn't matter if you even hit a red test. It doesn't matter how long the animation is. You just won't be seen at all. Banana bread. Now, uh, let's go back to that first example. And we're watching it as sniper here, so we don't get the green arrow. Uh, and let's work out how you can fight this if you're the sniper. Now, you can try and use the Q and E keys to lean around the pillar. And you can see there's a little bit of hand visible there if we lean that way. And nothing at all visible that side. So that's not very effective. But uh, there is a, a more reliable way. You know how each party goes portraits at the bottom uh, turns green or gets a little green border when you mouse over them well that works through the pillar as well so if we uh, if we mouse over the pillar here we can see orange sari's portrait is turning green so uh if you think that your spy on a game might be doing this strat you can just uh, every so often during the game rest your mouse on the pillar and you can see who's standing there so in this case queen's standing behind the pillar but we can see just about that she's actually in the conversation circle though she's not uh, she's not cheesing us with the pillar strats um but if we come back over here there's an orange sorry and we can just about see the highlight there past the pillar so uh, we know that she's not in the conversation circle uh if they won't come out like this and you think they might have finished you can even shoot them through the pillar So there's a, a good countermeasure there. You won't see this technique used very often. I think spies tend to think of it as quite a cheesy play and it's all or nothing. If the sniper is using those tricks I just mentioned to guard the pillar, or if you miss the st spot slightly on your way in and you're, you're sticking out at the side, or if they just happen to notice you on the way in or on the way out from the pillar and see that you didn't come from the other side of it, then Really, you're just standing not on a pad, and that's a hard tell. But as Yeesh and, Yeesh and Dowsy have shown us today, it's still very much a viable tactic in competitive play. Uh, one quick health warning, though. Don't go trying this on maps other than library. The trick only works on library because the sniper can't move left or right to look round the pillar. In other maps, if there's a pillar and it happens to be hiding you from the sniper right now, then it only takes a touch of A or D and suddenly you're more exposed than a puppy at the vet. Even so, next time you're on library, I hope you'll try out those strats, whether you're the spy or the sniper. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and check out the official casts of those matches in the description. This has been Spy Party and I've been Tufty Indigo. Goodbye.